This is Indianapolis coach Reggie Wayne, and you're listening to the For the Culture podcast. All right, guys, for the final pick of the 2022 Indianapolis Colts draft, at pick 239, round seven, Rodney Thomas, defensive back, Yale. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I haven't watched any film on this guy, and I know very little about him. All I saw was his RAS profile, which was solid. He's 6'2", 196. He played inside linebacker for Yale, I think, for two years. So he's a he's I'm sh- I'm sure he's a solid tackler. I I, I would assume. Um, <laughs> and I think the Colts are going to play him either at they I mean either at corner or or at safety. There is no way. You know, at 196, he's going to play linebacker for us. I just don't see it. He's going to have to gain probably 25 pounds to be able to do that, and I don't know if that's possible. So I think they're going to try to maybe cross-train him at corner or DB. I just don't see him getting to the point where he can play linebacker for us. So... Again, I don't know how good this guy is. I know he was all league and in, in, in the Ivy League and all that stuff. So he's obviously talented to be recognized as an all league player. But I have not watched any film on him. I didn't find much about him as far as play, you know, anywhere really. I saw a couple, like one draft profile of him, and it was just like very vague. So I don't know. This is a guy that, again, had a great RAS score. He's got decent size. I think he'll be a guy that can compete, you know, to make the roster as a as a back end guy, maybe a you know last corner or last safety. But I think I think this is a uh, practice squad developmental pick. Obviously, when you're picking, you know, when you're talking about pick two thirty nine of the draft, that's what you're really picking, and so. Uh, we'll see what happens with the roster, but I've seen him listed at linebacker. I've seen him listed at safety. I've seen him listed at corner. I don't know how the Colts are going to use him. I'll be interested to hear what Chris Ballard has to say about where they plan to play him. Could it be another Marvell Tell situation where he completely switches positions? I don't know. I know he's got solid speed. You know, he's got some really, you know, he's very athletic in, in a lot of ways. So we'll see how the Colts, you know, see how he translates what he did at Yale to the NFL. Again, obviously being an Ivy League guy, I'm sure he's a very smart guy. He'll pick up the defense quickly, I'm sure. And he's moved around, so he he knows he's flexible. He He probably knows a lot of positions as far as how to play them and keys and whatnot. So it'll be interesting to see how fast he picks up the defense. Interesting to see how the Colts use him. And interesting to see if he can stick on the roster. I doubt it. But Ballard loves these small school guys. He might stash him and see if he can develop them. But he's got good size, and you know, if, if they try him at corner, I'm not against it. You know, it, it, it's it's not the worst thing in the world. They definitely need, I think, an, another corner. I'm not sure if this is going to be the guy, but he does have a lot of traits that the Colts look for, especially size w- when it comes to corners. And if you look at him in the scope of a corner. He's got great size, so we shall see what happens, but that wraps up the draft, guys. Final pick again, Rodney Thomas, cornerback out of Yale. I think it's been a really solid draft for the Colts. I'm sure I'll come out with a draft grade at some point, but it's been another uh, interesting draft. I think Ballard did an outstanding job. The scouts did an outstanding job, and I think you're going to see a lot of these guys contribute to the 2022-2023 Colts. So with that, I'm going to wrap it up. This has been the For the Culture Draft Profile Show. I'm your host, Jason Spears. Thank you for listening. Thank you for the support. And I'll see you guys soon with probably a breakdown of the undrafted free agents here on the For the Culture Podcast.